In today's video, I wanted to share with you an exciting haul. I have right behind me several beautiful coats and also a couple of items right here, even some Chanel. This Chanel is part of my wish list. I'm gonna link to a previous styling haul where I shared a beautiful, beautiful cashmere coat that I tried on, but it was way too large and overwhelming on my body. So I did exchange that, but as you can see, I also went a little ham and I bought a few more. <laughs> this video is partly sponsored by Farfetch. They are my go-to online luxury shopping destination. They carry so many brands. There are so many great things that I love about them. I went ahead and sort of deconstructed it. So this item here came from Julian Fashion in Italy. One thing that's amazing about Farfetch is that they source their items, these luxury items, throughout all the luxury boutiques around the world. It can be a very small boutique in Italy or a big department store in the United States. I've heard so many times about this brand that I've decided to just go ahead and give it a try. Comes beautifully packaged and I got their chunky heel Sophia boots in the white color, although it looks a bit cream color to me. Just to describe how beautiful these boots are, and I totally understand the hype of why they are so popular. The leather is very, very soft and supple. The heel height is not too high for this version. It's a five centimeter height, almost like a sock boot in a way, but a little bit more structured than a sock boot. And it's all leather lined and uh, the insole and everything is uh, the outsole also is all leather lined. So that's item number one. So remember I told you guys about this brand in my last haul, 12 stories. Well, I did go ahead and exchanged for this one instead, which is perfect because this one is definitely cut a lot slimmer. I also managed to get it in a size extra small. They just restocked, I guess, with their new season items. So I have already started wearing this and I love, 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 love how beautiful it is. This is 100% wool and it's such a beautiful texture. I wish you could just feel it. I am actually surprised that this doesn't have any cashmere blend in it because it is so soft and so beautiful. And I am just so impressed with this company. They make beautiful, beautiful uh, double-sided wool coats. It comes with a strap to wrap around your waist. And I just love this beautiful milky coffee color. This is the original tag. But of course, I didn't stop there. They had a different color as well, and I just had to have it because the price is so great. By the way, guys, I totally forgot to mention that I'm able to get you a 15% off coupon code that you get to use once, whether you're a new client or an existing client, which is amazing because even if you've already have an account and you've shopped with Farfetch, you can still use my coupons. So definitely make sure you take advantage because I would. I totally would. Back to this coat. It is the exact same coat as the one right behind me and I will try everything on. You guys will be amazed. I honestly, honestly highly recommend these two coats, especially if you're looking for a winter coat that is sort of on the lighter side. It's still warm. It still has substance, but it's not so hot and it's definitely a great transitional piece into early spring. I am not one of those people that can wear shorts when it's like 10 degrees outside. I can't. I'm still wearing my jeans and a wool coat. So I would say that this is still good for up to 10 degrees, uh, like a, a basically a spring, basically early spring, especially here in Vancouver. It rains a lot. So it, it feels colder than 10 degrees when it's 10 degrees. So this one is so beautiful. I thought I would get it because the color was so attractive. I don't know if it translates correctly on camera. It's sort of that grayish pink color. It's really, really pretty. Same exact um, everything. And the color on this is called Creamy. The quality of the wool, like I said, is just out of this world. I used to love buying all my coats from Aritzia, but honestly, it doesn't even compare. This is so much more quality. These two coats were under $500 Canadian and with 15% off, it's like just amazing. So I highly recommend these two. Up next, I have two lighter 
wool coats and yes i splurged i spent a little bit more money to get myself a really really luxurious brand s maxmara is a sister brand of maxmara which is the original but it is basically from the same company and the quality and the cut and everything is just as exquisite this is one of the brands that are exclusive to the higher tier clients yes the more you shop at farfetch the higher your rewards i think there's bronze silver gold and then platinum tiers they calculate by how much you spend overall that year so obviously i'm already at the platinum tier therefore i have access to all the exclusive brands but as long as you reach the gold tier which is really not that hard if you are a shopaholic like me you will have access to max mara so yeah that's just a little detail that you need to know anyway so i got myself this beautiful max mara coat which of course i've already started wearing as well i love this design because it's super long it has beautiful slit details even on the sleeves the wool is slightly thinner than the 12 stories coat so these are great for right now this is great for when it gets even warmer it's also belted and it has beautiful details these were the tags that came with the maxmara coat so this one was called the just for reference this one was called the nina the nina coat yeah and I got mine in a size 34. The Nina coat is quite oversized, I feel. And I did my research, obviously. I had to sort of gauge what size I was. So for the Nina coat, I definitely recommend that you size down. I went with an Italian size 34, which is different from French sizing. 34 is a double extra small, therefore... Um, and I'm glad I did because it's quite long and it just fits perfectly. Last but not least, I also got this one in this beautiful sort of lavender pink color. It's more cropped, which is perfect for later spring. Also because it's so much thinner, the fabric, I don't know if you can probably tell that this is a much thinner fabric. This one, it's a little too cold to wear right now, but it's called the Arona which is very very popular because this is one of the most affordable version and I got mine in a Italian size 38 so this is how the boots look like on me I will just lift my jeans so that you can see them they are so slimming to the leg don't you think? maybe I should be wearing shorts so that you can really see it properly but um, yeah they are very slimming I think the leather is so soft and very comfortable. The heel height is not too high and I just love them. These will look great if you're wearing a skirt or if you're just wearing pants and they just go underneath your pants. So my outfit today, I'm wearing a silk shirt and also these pants are from Frame Denim which I also bought at Farfetch, I will just link it down below for you guys. All right, I think it's much better that we can see the boots in action. Um, yeah, they are cream. I did wish they were a bit more white. You should just buy this coat. It's just so beautiful. The wool is very soft. You know how usually when 100% wool can feel very stiff, almost like a felt material? This is the opposite of that it's just so beautiful and so soft and just the perfect wool it's very luxurious so i love that when you just leave it open it just looks very fluid very minimalist and just a great look actually now i do wish that the boots were black but anyway you guys get the idea um they do make it in black as well and yeah, this is dangling a bit, but just have to adjust it. This is how it looks like belted. I love the fact that the pockets are right there. It's really cozy. A little bit of a drop shoulder design. So yeah, from the side, from the back, from the other side. And let me just grab a bag. Trendy CC. And I think it just looks amazing together what do you guys think it's just so beautiful i love that there's no buttons in the front so you can easily just cross body your bags and you don't have to worry about the buttons scratching your bag 
but this is not really a crossbody bag. It is really meant for a handheld bag and I just love how understated this coat is. This is the second one, 12 stories in the creamy color. This color is gorgeous and it looks amazing. I might need a white bag this time. I think this beigey pink or grayish pink is very flattering. Did you like this color on me more or did you like this color on me more? This is the Max Mara. This is more of a white color, like a... It's still an off-white, but it's definitely more lighter color. How the lapels are still a good size. And I have these big, large pockets. Um, it is definitely more of an oversized design because like I said, I did have to size down to a 34, Italian 34, which is a double extra small. I love the, all the little details, like the little slits here, the slit here. So this is how it looks. Okay, so these shoes look better with this coat. I think they are more cohesive. And, uh... I think this jacket is just so luxurious because it's a Max Mahara and oh yeah totally oh this look totally works for sure so I'm glad I splurged on this but I still love these two anyway uh, but I'm just so glad I splurged on this because it's just the perfect slightly oversized light wool coat with these sort of more oversized coats you can't cinch it too tight because then it'll have so much bunching on the waist you can sort of lightly cinch it just lightly like that and you can still have access to your pockets and as you can see it has again a drop shoulder design the sleeves are just long enough uh, because i sized down it's not so so long and oversized but yeah, I love the detail here. Last but not least, we have this lighter version. You see the difference here? The sleeves are a lot shorter for sure. And it's definitely more of a definitely more of a spring coat, like a late spring. And even the texture you can feel the, the wool is a lot lighter weight. And so it's great for when it's much warmer and I love the color. What do you guys think? All right, I'm pulling out my white and black heels. I think the color of the boots are a little off. <laughs> it's like 100% better. Uh, just feels more cohesive. And yeah, this is how the Arona S. Maxmara coat looks like. I just think this color is so lovely, this pink color. It's just so beautiful. And I love it even more when it's just kind of casual and open because it's so short um it's it's a crop version so it's very lightweight and it's just so easy going like walking in the mall i can totally imagine walking inside the mall with it open like this and it just looks so great with a dress or a skirt inside it's just the perfect overcoat for it oh it's so gorgeous hold up my small classic flap my white heels yeah i think it has to be more cool tone. That's the problem. I think those boots were too warm toned. I wish they were more cool tone. There you have it. This looks good. And even if I were to cross body, it still kind of works, you know, like a bit more casual. So cute. Or my cocoa handle, which is even lighter color. This 
is perfect. Yes, now it looks good together. Yeah, let's try this again together. Yes, it looks great with the pure white shoes. It looks amazing together. The cocoa handle. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love these coats. They just elevate the outfit. You can even have a very simple outfit underneath, um, such as mine. Just literally a silk shirt and a silk skirt, elasticated, and it works totally fine. It's so easy as outfits. This is where um, I need your opinion. Should I keep this too? Because I definitely love the Maxmara, but do I need two of the light color ones? Even though this is a thicker jacket, you see? This one is definitely more cool tone. This one has some warmth to it, but it's still cool. It's probably like neutral, actually. This one is more white. This one is more pink. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. You can vote. I, I tend to think that I should keep it because I, I, I cannot get enough jackets, honestly, for the winter time. And this one is slightly more slimming too, I would say. Not, not that that one was making me look big, but I feel like this cutting is more streamlined. Like it's definitely more slimming in a way. And it's just such a beautiful quality for the price. This is a really, really nice wool material. And so let's say if I went with this bag, see, it just works, right? It's just so nice and so sophisticated. Oh, I, I feel like I need all four, which is why, like I said, I went a little ham. I went a little ham with buying <laughs> different coats. Oh, it looks so great. Okay, so with this one, the strap is a little long though, which is why you kind of have to adjust it if you're not tying it. And I'm 5'4 for reference. These are all longer jackets anyway, except the pink one. Except this shorter pink one, all of these jackets are on the longer side. Just to show you with the proper colored shoes. Yes, now we're talking. So this one is definitely more on the darker gray side and it's uh, it's more everyday. Like I don't have to worry so much about dirtying this color, but it's still a great color. It's still kind of bright and um, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like in Hermes term, this is kind of like the etoupe color, I think, or yeah, I think it is. Kind of like the etoupe color is really, really nice. And it's just so sophisticated. I mean, guys, don't you think? It's just beautiful. I'm not joking, guys. If you are looking for your next coat, get this one. It's just so, so pretty. And for the price, I cannot believe how good the quality is. Oh gosh, I feel like, I feel like I hit jackpot with all these coats. Now that I've tried it with all the coats, um, I don't love the color. It's too off-white. Um, it's too, it's a bit too yellow. You see, it's too warm. And I tend to do better in cool tone, cool tone clothing. See, this one is more cool tone. This one is too warm. You really see the difference. See my heels, they are definitely lighter, like it's more neutral. I think this one is just too warm tone. I think I'll just get it in black actually. I'll just exchange for the black color because I love these boots. They're so pretty and they just are so comfortable. I feel like they're walkable and everything, but uh, this white which is kind of creamy color is not working for me, I think. One more unboxing and it is the Chanel. This is not the original packaging, but I decided to use it in a thumbnail because now in Vancouver, they charge for bags, for any bags. And I'm so accustomed to just saying no to bags without even realizing that 
it's a different bag than the usual black one. So anyway, I ended up using this little bag that I owned already for the thumbnail. So yeah, the item that I got is right here and it is really small. Great things come in small packages, right? So let's unbox it together. This is gonna be my very first piece of fine jewelry from Chanel. Very, very exciting. It was part of my wish list. I did mention in my wish list video, which I can link it up here if you want to watch it, that I had my eye on this. So it comes in this white and black box. It also has an authenticity booklet. I also received this little pouch here, which is so cute. This is made of leather. It's so soft. It's their lambskin leather and it has a Chanel stamp there and it has a little zipper pull. So this is a little uh, jewelry pouch that I can use when I travel. So I thought that was really, really nice. I did not expect that. I guess I don't really see that many unboxings online, so I didn't know about that at all. So yeah, let me just open it in front of you to reveal my very first fine jewelry from Chanel and it is the Coco Crush ring in the small size in their beige gold. I'm sure the camera is not um, doing justice to how pretty it is. I love the packaging. There's a little pillow on the inside. I loved this packaging so much. I thought it was so luxurious. I love the black and white theme. Here you go, another look at the ring. I love all the little facets that this ring has and for one of the most affordable piece of fine jewelry that Chanel offers, I think this is definitely worth every single penny. I love the quilting on it too and the reason why I decided to go with this piece is because I mentioned to you a while ago that um, this ring right here, my Juste un Clou, which I do wear on my index finger, does get loose once in a while and it just depends on the state of my health when I have less inflammation since I do suffer from arthritis. When I have less inflammation, when I have no flare-ups, then my joints kind of recede and they become smaller. At which point this ring became really, really loose at one point and it was literally falling off as I was, you know, just fixing my hair and all. Regardless, I still love this ring, of course, but on days that I am more in remission, I suppose, or have less inflammation, then this ring won't fit. And this is the reason why I bought this one so that I can wear it on this finger when this ring no longer fits. So let me just actually give you a side-by-side -side view. The beige gold from Chanel is definitely a lot lighter. It's so pretty. It actually is really, really pretty. It's a lot less coppery. But yeah, I will just wear it to show you that it's just perfect. My Kelly ring for some reason also is a bit of a lighter rose gold than my CDC ring so I think they go perfectly together and honestly I don't really mind uh, mix and matching rose gold tones. You might wonder what I'm gonna do when uh, I do have a lot of inflammation and can't wear this ring right because then my fingers will be too big for this size. Well don't fret because my left hand is actually uh, a little bit better condition than my right hand. Hence, I can still wear it on my left index, which at the moment I'm wearing my Ana Luisa ring. But as you can see, even if, say, it didn't fit my right hand, I could still wear it on my left hand because my left hand's index is a lot smaller. It doesn't have as much of the damage. So it still totally fits my left hand anyway. And therefore it does not really matter. I could totally wear both together. Right now my joint is not at the smallest yet so I can still fit this ring. And therefore I can still wear my Coco Crush and my Juste Un Clou. The reason why I went with this the thin version because uh, I know a lot of you said that the thicker version looks best as a index finger ring, which I agree, like look wise it's amazing I'm sure. But because I do have s joint swelling, it's probably best for me to go with the slimmer ring so that it can go through my joints easily and therefore um, I just went with the small size and plus if I ever want 
um, a more substantial look, I could always get a second one in maybe white gold and stack it together and make it look like I have a thicker ring. So that was also the idea behind it. And so yes, I bought mine in my own boutique. And on this side, it uh, tells you when you bought it and also your uh, serial number for your ring. So this is the little book that comes with it. And I just really, really, really love this beautiful, super luxurious packaging. I love the little pillow that was inside. And next time I buy fine jewelry, I will make sure to pay for that bag, for that little shopping bag, because I totally just zoned out. Here's another look at the little pouch, which I thought was such a nice touch and it smells so good. <laughs> so I can totally store my ring in there. The inside, is it lined? Yeah, it is lined. It's lined in this like fabric. So it's perfect for storing my beautiful rings inside for when I travel. And I love the fact that it's a leather pouch. It feels very substantial. Did you like all the jackets? Did you think that it was too redundant? Do you think I should keep all of them? I personally love every single jacket. I think they are still different in their own way. And also, what do you think of the ring? I love it. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, the, the, the rose gold tone, the beige gold is just sublime. I will make sure to link every single item below. Again, don't forget that my coupon code is only good for 30 days and it is good for new and also existing customers and you get 15% off, which is amazing. Obviously, there are some brand restrictions as always, but regardless, everything I have shown today, so I believe even S. Maxmara is also part of the discount. Highly recommend the 12 stories. And let me know if you're gonna end up buying these codes. I'm so curious to know who actually buys things that I recommend. I really, really love these. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. Also, you can support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive content. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.